Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. We are using a custom resolution of 2560x1440p native, 16x the nicer traffic filtering, map mappings on automatic, CRC hack levels on uh, automatic. We are using skip draw range 1 and 2. With skip draw range 1 and 2, this fixes up the light sources in a way. It's not the most accurate one, but it's the most accurate one I could find. Um, so what happens is that if you have it on 0 like this, this is the default one, you would have blocky, if not blending issues with the light sources. So obviously the one I can't fix is you can see lights through the walls as of right now with 1 and 2. But with it off, 0 and 0, you would have blocky, if not inaccurate, um, light sources. And it has awful flickering on your screen. It's not good looking at all. So you want to at least do something like this or try and find one yourself to see if it's more accurate than my one. Basic automatic, uh, basic recommended for accurate blending and fast accurate date. Texture filtering of display and FXAA shader are both on. Now this game, you can't, I can't tell you the video RAM, um, how much video RAM this game uses. It fluctuates a lot at 1440p or even at lower resolutions. It just fluctuates way too much. So I can't tell you exactly what it uh, utilizes. It could go up to three, could go down to 1.1 gigabytes. It just fluctuates a bit too much, so I can't say. Texture filtering is on bilinear PS2, and the renderer is on Direct 3D 11 hardware. Now, I am using MTVU. If you have more than three cores, I have eight cores. I recommend turning this on. This game does target 60 frames per second, so I do recommend it. This game targets 640 by 448 on software mode, so let's have a look at this. So this is Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, as you see, 60 frames per second, and this is on native PS2, so everything looks pretty blurry. The HUDs are very blurry, as you see at this resolution. Got the picture up there of the girl that's waiting for me right now and for one of the missions. As you see, the ground text is very blurry, using bilinear, maybe trilinear texture filtering right there alone. The light sources are very accurate on software mode, but when it comes to hardware mode, it's not that accurate, even with skip draw range I have on. Now let's go to native 1440p. So as you see, this is native 1440p. You can see the lights are a little bit inaccurate. There's the light sources through the truck, which I mentioned. Can't seem to find an accurate um, skip draw preset for that right now. But yes, if as you see now, the HUDs look way clearer at this resolution. So if we go to native PS2, you can see it's a lot harder to see the the, the gun HUD or the text, or the vision right there, the glasses, where it looks a lot clearer at 1440p. The whole game looks a lot clearer at 1440p. So if you look at those clouds, they look extremely blocky. Go to native PS2, looks pretty much identical back to native 1440p. I also noticed just then there's a bit of a broken sprite around the crosshair on both software and hardware. I'm surprised it slipped in on software mode. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Clouds did not age all that well at all. But we're not going to really be looking up there much at all, so it doesn't really matter. But as you see, the game looks way, way clearer. 60 frames per second is holding up quite well. This game is not too terribly hard to run, but I could be wrong. 60 frames per second, so have your MTV one and you should have a good experience if you have a decent CPU. But yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.